climate experts are sounding the alarm over a troubling new report showing Greenland is getting greener. A new major analysis of satellite data shows Greenland has lost 11,000 square miles of ice between the mid-1980s and the 2010s. That's about 36 times the size of New York City. Scientists say warmer air has turned giant swaths of the North Atlantic Territory into vegetation and wetlands, and it's presenting serious consequences for climate change and rising sea levels. We're joined now by Bill Nye, the science guy. He, of course, is a science educator, making all of this so clear to those of us who want to understand it better. Um, Bill, tell us about this report. It's so alarming. Well, the, everybody, people have been, been concerned about this business of Greenland's ice for decades. So there's two big, big problems. As the ice falls off of this island, Greenland, it makes the sea level go up. Uh, by putting ice in a glass of water, you can get it to overflow, for example. Ice that was on land is now in the ocean. And then as the ocean itself gets warmer, it expands. So both of these things make sea level rise. And when sea level rises, the problem is about half the people in the world live on coasts, on sea coasts. So their, um, the infrastructure, the housing, warehouses, roads we have on, on the shore will get overwhelmed by uh, tidal forces by the ocean. Okay, that's a problem. But the other thing that's very serious is the circulation of the ocean, which goes all over the world. The, the circulation of water that sinks near Greenland, goes along the ocean floor around the world and back, is being disrupted because it's not sinking in the same way. That when you add all this ice, which is fresh water, not salty water, then it doesn't sink. Because what makes, what makes this circulation start is evaporation, uh, even in cold ocean water, it evaporates, it becomes increasingly salty and sinks. Well, that thermohaline heat salt flow, thermohaline, is being disrupted by all this ice falling off of Greenland. And I should mention, we were looking back and we saw that you were on CNN back in July of 2012, and you were discussing the ice melt in Greenland saying that this was proof of climate change, sounding the alarm there. And so this is something we've been watching for a long time. And it's also this cycle, right, of releasing the gases as the permafrost thaws. It seems like this vicious, vicious cycle. Is there any way to, I guess, do anything to avert this? Or is it really just a matter of slowing it down? Two things to avert, okay, and then the other thing, proof, it's a consequence of climate change. Mm -hmm. And people have talked about this for a long time. Uh, so <clears throat> the, uh, if you want to get technical, which is fun, <laughs> the Gulf Stream is what happens on the surface. It's this clockwise circulation. It keeps Europe warm and so on. But then there's this overturning, this AMOC, Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation. Well, if you want to do something about it, two things I tell everybody. Talk about it. If we were talking about climate change, the way we talk about a bunch of other very important issues, we'd be doing something about it. And then the thing to do about it really is to vote. You know, we have, we have people running for president in the world's most influential country, who won't even talk about climate change, let alone talk about what they're gonna do about it. So uh, it's happening, it's happening faster and faster because the so-called feedback mechanisms are uh, both going the wrong way. As we lose ice, we lose sunlight reflecting into space, which makes things warm up faster and faster. And then when we release this ancient methane, which ancient swamp gas, that was covered with ice, that methane is also a very powerful greenhouse gas. So these are troubling things, but the sooner we get to work on it, the better. And the latest research is that there isn't really a turning point. There isn't like a click where it's all gonna go to heck. Instead, it's just gonna get worse and worse and worse, uh, and, and that getting worse will accelerate. So the sooner we get to work, the better. Yeah, we need to get to work. Bill Nye, thank you so much for explaining it to us. And hopefully it's hitting home for a lot of people. We appreciate you being with us. 
We can do this, people. Thank you. We can do this.